Hi there, welcome back to the Swift programming course. Today you're going to be learning about subscripts in Swift. A subscript is a shortcut for retrieving member elements from a list collection or sequence. And using these, you can set values by index without needing separate methods for setting retrieval. Here's an example of creating a list or an array. This is an array. We've created a variable, some array, and we've set it to a value of square brackets one, two, three. So we've created an array of different items, in this case, the numbers one, two, and three. And we can retrieve a member element from our list collection or sequence by typing in the array, so some array, and then we can type in the value of the item we want to find. So zero, which is number one because Swift tricks the user a little bit. It, it kind of tricks the programmer because when you type in zero, you don't actually mean the number zero. You mean the zero value. So the very first value is classed as zero. The second value, so number two, is classed as one. And number three is actually classed as number two when we're choosing or retrieving the member element from our list collection or sequence. So it kind of tricks you into thinking something that you shouldn't perhaps be thinking at all. So all you need to know is that when we say zero, we mean the very first item. Okay, so let's create a structure and let's actually show you what a subscript can do. So we're going to create a structure called timetable and we're going to create a constant um, which will never change during the normal running of our program execution. Um, because it's a constant and we're going to create call this constant multiplier and give it a type integer Okay, so now we can create our subscript which will use that to return an index um, which will be multiplied um, So subscript to create a subscript similar to a structure or a function or a class So we type in the thing we're creating and then we pass something through so we're going to type um index because we're passing in the index as an integer and we're going to return that as an integer and we do our um, curly braces like we normally do with functions or classes and we need to return a value since we said we're going to return something as an integer so we need to return multiplier multiplied by our index so we've now created a structure that will allow us to act as a block of code and we can use this to multiply any number by any times table using different methods. So let's create our very first method. So let's create a constant by typing in let and let's choose a times table. So three times tables and we're going to do our, um, I did a typo. Uh, we're going to do our structure name, timetable, and then we're going to type in our multiplier and then the integer. So because this is the three times tables um, constant, we're going to create a multiplier of three, um, which means we can multiply our index by that multiplier. Okay, so now let's actually call this variable, so three times tables, and we can now give this an array item, so we can actually return the multiplier multiplied by an index. So if we want to do three times three, you can see that nine will be returned, or I don't know, five times three, um, so 15, or if we want to do 10 times three, 30 we basically return this index. So anything in an array is called an index value. So if we add one value here, so 10, we are multiplying this index by this value. So what if we try to separate another value? Could we do that? You can see that we're left with an error because we're only allowed to use one index value. So we can use this method, our structure rather, to create multiple methods for multiple times tables. Let's copy this and let's change up a few things. So we're going to call this five times tables and we're going to set the multiplier to five and then we can then actually times 10 by five because it's an index value multiplied by the multiplier. So it's returning the multiplier multiplied by an index. Okay, so here's a brief explanation of what we've just learned. 
We've learned that a subscript is a shortcut for retrieving member elements from a list, collection, or sequence, and with these you can set values by index without needing separate methods for setting retrieval. We've learned how to create a list, and we've learned how to retrieve a member element from that list, collection, or sequence. We've learned how to create a structure, and then we've learned how to create variables with a type that won't change, create a subscript which will pass an index as an integer and return it as an integer, return a multiply multiplied by the index, create a variable which is equal to a multiplier of, in this case, 3, and then create the same thing of 5, and then return that multiply multiplied by an index. Now, we could go even more advanced and into a little bit more depth of subscripts, but right now I feel as though this is all we really need to cover for the types of applications we'll be creating in my programming courses. So I hope this video has informed you. And that was subscripts in Swift.